All Hammerhead off-road vehicles are designed for safe and enjoyable use. However, any off-road vehicle can be dangerous if you do not follow the safety rules. When operated carefully and responsibly, the Hammerhead family of off-road vehicles is designed for safe and enjoyable use. However, any off-road vehicle can be dangerous if you do not follow the safety rules. This video has been produced for riders of all ages. We encourage adults to watch this video with their children, referencing the owner's manual to have a full understanding of the importance of safe and responsible off-road vehicle operation. Children may not make the right decisions when required to do so. Therefore, it's the adult's responsibility to be sure that children who operate the Hammerhead vehicle are closely supervised. Keeping safety a priority, adults must set operating limits and guidelines for children and be sure that they follow them. Doing all of this will result in a fun and safe experience for you and your child. Each Hammerhead vehicle has a minimum age requirement for both the driver and the passenger. Consult your owner's manual for more information on age restrictions. Some Hammerhead models are designed and intended for use by a driver that is 16 years of age or older. One passenger 12 years of age or older is allowed in the passenger seat, but only if the passenger is large enough to firmly plant his or her feet on the floor and securely grasp the handholds. Some Hammerhead models are designed and intended for use by a driver that is 10 years of age and older, with one passenger 10 years of age or older allowed in the passenger seat of the vehicle. Some Hammerhead models are designed and intended for use by a driver that is 6 years of age or older, with one passenger 6 years of age or older allowed in the passenger seat of the vehicle. Personal safety gear ensures the riding experience you and your passenger have is a safe one. When selecting riding gear, the first thing you need is a helmet. Wear them every time you get into the vehicle, regardless of the type of operating you'll be doing. Drivers and passengers also need to wear goggles or a face shield to protect their eyes against dust, dirt, bugs, or other debris. Long sleeve shirts, gloves, long pants, and over the ankle boots should be worn to protect against debris. Avoid loose clothing such as hoodies or scarves, and make sure long hair is tied up and secured at or above shoulder length. Some Hammerhead models have a transmission with forward, neutral, and reverse gear positions. To shift the transmission, apply the brake and move the shift handle firmly into gear. The right foot pedal is the accelerator and controls engine speed. Before you start the engine, always test the accelerator to make sure it moves back and forth smoothly. The brake is located on the left side of the vehicle. Applying pressure to the brake slows or stops the vehicle. Remember during operation, when you want to stop or slow down, always take your right foot off the accelerator and place your left foot on the brake pedal. Before you start the engine, always place your foot on the brake pedal. Another safety feature is the parking brake, if applicable. Apply the parking brake whenever you're not driving to keep the vehicle from rolling unexpectedly. Ensure the parking brake is applied before starting the vehicle. Don't forget to release the parking brake before driving. All Hammerhead vehicles are equipped with driver and passenger seat belts. Seat belts can help avoid serious injury or death in the event of an accident or overturn. Always verify the seat belts are latched and secure before allowing operation of the vehicle. It is important to realize that the brush bars on your Hammerhead vehicle are not designed or intended to provide rollover protection. Make sure you operate responsibly to avoid injury. Some Hammerhead vehicles have daytime running lamps that are always on for extra visibility. They are not designed for night driving. Do not allow operation at night. Practicing operation of hammerhead vehicles is strongly recommended before you carry any passenger. 
A minimum of four hours of driving experience is recommended. Begin by finding a flat, open area that gives you plenty of room to become familiar with the vehicle's operation and handling. Set up a practice course using markers or pylons. While practicing driving, do not carry cargo or a passenger. Have young drivers practice starting the engine. Instruct the child to drive slowly at first. Only allow increased speed after you are confident the child has mastered all maneuvers at slow speeds. Practice turning, stopping, and driving in reverse. Only after four hours of driving experience should a passenger be allowed with the driver. Adults should fully explain to any passenger the importance of safe behavior while in the vehicle. Review often with children the vehicle warning decals and safety video, making sure that they understand how to operate their hammerhead vehicle. Remember, this video is not intended to take the place of understanding the owner's manual. Before every operation, perform the pre-ride inspection as described in the owner's manual. Visually inspect the vehicle. Pay particular attention to accumulated mud or debris. Look for brush, sticks, or other debris that may impair the vehicle's operation or damage drivetrain components. Check the condition of the tires, looking for any sign of punctures or damage. Check the tire pressures and verify they are to specification. Make sure that all fluid levels are at their correct levels. Verify vehicle front and rear running lights, if equipped, are functioning when the engine is running. Push the brake pedal down. It should move freely, yet have some resistance or pressure. Make sure the accelerator moves and returns freely without sticking. Inspect the drive chain condition and tension. Lubricate if necessary. Be sure the key switch operates correctly and shuts off the engine. Verify engine stop switch turns off the engine. Adults need to make sure that children who operate the hammerhead can reach all of the controls. While seated in the driver's seat, the child should be able to comfortably reach the steering wheel, accelerator and brake pedals, but still avoid any knee interference with the steering wheel. Before you start the engine, Always have an adult test the steering to make sure it's working okay. Refer to the owner's manual for steering wheel and driver's seat adjustment procedures. Verify that both driver and passenger helmets do not rise above the top of the brush bars. It's important to keep your head, feet and arms inside the vehicle at all times, especially in the case of a rollover accident. Ensure all cargo is tied securely to the vehicle on the storage rack and will not impair vehicle operation. Do not exceed vehicle cargo capacity. Before each operation, inspect the full length of the seat belts for wear or damage. The seat belt latches should couple and stay secured. Verify the parking brake is set and gear shifter is in neutral if equipped and then step onto the floorboard area while sliding into the operator's seat. Attach the seat belt and adjust it to fit snugly. Check to make sure that you can reach all the controls, making any adjustments as required. For hammerhead vehicles with electric start, insert the key into the key switch, then turn the key clockwise to the on position. Push the engine start button in for up to five seconds to start the engine. If the engine does not start, release the button for five seconds and try again. Once the engine starts, let it warm up for five minutes or until the engine idles at normal speed before operation. Some hammerhead vehicles have a manual choke to aid in startup. Consult your owner's manual for choke operation. For vehicles without electric start, have the driver in the vehicle with their foot on the brake. Then, have an adult pull the engine starting cord. The key switch and engine stop switch stop the engine. 
Before stopping the engine, always pull the parking brake handle or the vehicle may keep rolling. Before starting out, look all around you to make sure there's no one in the way. Also look for any potential hazards and determine your path of travel. Put the vehicle in gear. Release the parking brake and gently push on the accelerator until the vehicle begins to move and drive ahead a few feet. Then press the brake pedal to ensure proper operation of the brake system. When driving, always keep both hands on the steering wheel and both feet in the appropriate positions. Keep alert and know what is going on around you at all times. When following another vehicle, stay back a safe distance. Your Hammerhead vehicle is designed to be used off-road on dirt, sand, or gravel surfaces. Avoid operating your Hammerhead on paved surfaces, roads, driveways, or other hard surfaces. Always operate within the driver's and vehicle's abilities. Never operate the vehicle in dangerous behaviors such as jumps, slides, or other stunts. Try to stay on level ground. When there's a corner, slow down. If you go too fast around a corner, you could lose control and have an accident. Do not operate at night. Some hammerhead vehicles have daytime running lamps that are always on to help you be seen, but are not designed for night driving. Plan ahead so you get home before dark. Operating on hills can be dangerous. When climbing hills, drive straight uphill and at a steady speed. Always avoid steep hills. If you begin to stall while driving uphill, stop the vehicle and allow it to roll slowly straight back downhill while keeping light pressure on the brake pedal. Turn and reverse course when you have reached level ground. Whenever going downhill, you should drive straight downhill. Slow down and apply the brake pedal lightly. Side-hilling your hammerhead vehicle is one of the most dangerous types of operation and should be avoided if possible. If you cannot avoid riding on the side of a hill, slow down. Be aware of any bumps, obstacles, or terrain that might cause the vehicle to slide or lose control. If you begin to lose control at any time, you should turn immediately downhill or stop and slowly maneuver to get the vehicle pointed downhill before continuing forward. Before crossing streams, determine water depth and current. Fast flowing currents or deep water can cause loss of control and is very dangerous. Your hammerhead vehicle can operate through water up to the floorboard. Choose a crossing where both banks have gradual inclines. Proceed slowly, avoiding rocks and obstacles if possible. After crossing, dry the brakes by applying light pressure to the brakes while the vehicle is moving. Continue this until they work normally. Never cross frozen bodies of water. Severe injury or death can result if the vehicle and its occupants fall through the ice. Never drive over your ability or the comfort level of your passenger. Your passenger's hands should be on the handholds and legs inside the vehicle at all times. Review often the vehicle warning decals and safety video, especially with children. Make sure they understand how to operate their hammerhead vehicle. Remember, this video is not intended to take the place of understanding the owner's manual. Respect the environment. Find out where the designated riding areas are. If you're not sure, contact a hammerhead dealer, a local off-roading club, or call your city or local government offices. Above all, stay on the trail. Remember, as an off-road enthusiast, you represent the sport to non-enthusiasts too. Tread lightly. Staying on the trail is the best way to keep the trails open. Remember, any off-road vehicle can be dangerous if you don't follow the safety rules. But if you ride carefully and responsibly, they are a lot of fun for the whole family.